the Exodus in February of 1846 uh, was the first time that the saints are now literally beginning what we know of as the uh, Mormon Trail. Uh, leaving will be February 4th of 1846 will be the first man whose name is Charles Shumway. And as he left, he got on a skiff and worked his way across then to the Iowa side. He will then be followed by many, eventually by around the 15th of February. The Mississippi will freeze over and Joseph F. Smith will describe it as a highway across the river it was opened up and the saints began to leave. Uh, as they left, uh, they're leaving behind their homes, they're leaving their shops, they're leaving their lands, and each as they left uh, have dedicated what they have left behind to not only the Lord, but to their memory or testimony of the Prophet Joseph Smith. The largest structure left behind was the Nabu Temple, which had been a public works project. But it's interesting, as they lined up along the various ports to work their way across, including Parley Street, there's a man named Orson Hyde, who was a member of the Quorum of the Twelve, that had returned from the east with 5,000 yards of canvas. The plan had been that the canvas would be used to make a tabernacle in Nauvoo that would be a more movable tabernacle from grove to grove but that canvas was then torn apart and the saints then used it to make their boxes on wheels covered wagons or for many of them they viewed them as portable tabernacles as they now began their great exodus to the west.